Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're continuing that series where I show you how to be the best video editor, audio editor, you know, step by step using free software and free tools, guys. I'm going to show you how to become amazing at this using free stuff. It's pretty wild. Let's get into this. The other episodes, we covered a little bit of video editing. We covered how to record gameplay footage. In this one, I'm going to show you how to record your audio professionally. And what do I mean by that? I mean, I mean, you, we've all heard it. We go on a YouTube video and you're watching a gameplay video and the gameplay sound is too loud. Or the guy or the gal speaking over top of the game is too quiet and the music's too loud and vice versa. Or they've got multiple people on the call and one of them's just blowing out loud and the other one you can barely hear. We're going to sort all that out using Audacity. Let's get right into this. All right, before we start getting into Audacity, I do want to remind you that you will need a microphone <laughs> for it. So there are two, basically two types of mics that are usable. One of them is a desktop mic, of course. You know, blue Yetis, blue Snowballs, all those different types. And then there's uh, headset mics. If you've got a desktop mic, I do recommend keeping the microphone about nine inches away from your mouth. And yeah, I apparently, according to my girlfriend, I don't know how long nine inches is. So you better measure it because I've been rounding up. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and if you've got a, a headset microphone, well, you basically want to keep it as far away from your mouth as possible just to keep the pops down and, the, and any crackling and any loud, jarring, yeah, cracks. And I'm going to show you how to take those out. So with that preamble out of the way, let's get into Audacity. All right, here we go. The first step to downloading Audacity, again, free software, is you want to go to audacityteam.org. There we go. You want to go there and then left-click on Download Audacity. It might start to download automatically for you. If not, just click on the first link, Audacity 3.1 point whatever it says or whatever it shows you at the time of you watching this, and download it. Once you've done that, left-click on the .exe file, and it will quickly install the software for you. It's very small, very quick very good software. All right, let's keep going. All right, here we go. I have a copy of Audacity open in front of me. And yeah, it looks a little overwhelming and scary, but I promise you it's very easy to use once you get the hang of it. All right, the first thing you want to do before you go any further is you want to make sure you've got the correct microphone selected. This is often a problem for people because if they don't have it selected, it often has the default built-in microphone to your laptop, for example, and it's horrible. So again, make sure that you have the correct one selected. I'm using a blue snowball for this one. So again, make sure that this here is selected to the correct microphone. All right, now that we've got the correct microphone selected to record, you just basically want to left click on this red button. This is R for record. And as we do that, you're going to see it going here. And as I talk louder and quieter, you're going to see the waveform adjust up and down. That's exactly what we want. It looks good. All right, so that is all you got to do. And if you want to stop it again, just click on that stop button and that will be the end of it. So I'll just do that right now just to show you. Left click there, stop. Okay, we've got like almost 10 seconds of audio. I'm recording with another program in case you're wondering how I can keep talking and this isn't recording. But now let's get into some professionalism. This, in a lot of cases, if you have a perfect environment and you're in a quiet environment with no distracting sounds and you've got a great mic and you've got it all set up, you might be able to just go to file and then just go to export as mp3. If you're, in a, if you're in a good spot, you don't want to make any changes, you got your settings right, go ahead and do that. That's all you need to do. But there are a few things you can do to make audio a little more professional, and I'm going to show you the top three. So let's get right into those. All right, the first one we want to do is we want to get rid of any noise reduction. So any buzzing, anything that sounds just distracting, let's get rid of it. In my video, I have the mic close to my laptop and my laptop fan is going a mile a minute so it's really really buzzing so I want to get rid of the laptop fan for me so how do I do that simple I'm gonna go ahead and select some of this audio here I just left click on the timeline and I just dragged it back and this allows me to select that part of the video now what I'm doing is I'm basically selecting a time period a period of time where there's nothing no audio at all it's just the background fan I'm not talking so once you've got that selected, you want to go now up to effect and we're going to go ahead and do some noise reduction. Left click now on noise reduction. When you do that, you'll have a few options. The first thing you need to do is left click on get noise profile. 
click on it. So now we have the noise profile. Basically, we've isolated the sound fan or the background humming sound, okay? That's what we wanted. Now, the next step is you wanna hit Control A, Command A if you're on a Mac, but you're probably not, so Control A, and that is select all, because what we wanna do is we wanna apply noise reduction to everything. So we have the profile, now we're going to apply it. Go ahead and click on Effect, go back to Noise Reduction, and instead of collect, selecting Get Noise Profile, just left click on OK. When you do that, you're gonna see here that at the beginning of the timeline, it went from a little bit of a buzzy waveform to basically a flat line. We have isolated the background noise and taken it out. That is the first step, and it's very, very important, especially if you don't have optimal conditions. Okay, let's get into step two. All right, everybody, the second step is the compressor step. Basically, we want to take out some of the highs and the lows. It's very, very easy to do, and it adds another level of professionalism to the audio. So what you do is you basically click anywhere and click Command or Control A. Control A if you're on a PC. Once you've selected the timeline, head up here to Effect and drop it down, and you're going to see Compressor. Now, under Compressor, you have a few options. They're pretty good right out of the gate. I like to increase the ratio from the default 2 to 1. I increase it up to about, yeah, let's go to 6 to 1. So we're basically just going ahead and taking out the highs and lows and normalizing the audio. Left click on OK and watch the wave or the, 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 the waveform. See how it adjusted up a little bit? Basically, we're just going ahead and making the audio a little bit better. All right, the third and final step, again, making sure you've selected everything in the timeline is a limiter. We want to make sure that there's no overly loud bangs or crashes or noise that basically scare people off. And again, they may opt, especially for really loud noises, they may opt to disconnect or close the video. And again, we don't want that for, for video search engine optimization. So again, what you want to do here is you want to go to effect, left click on effect and drop it all the way down here to limiter, left click on limiter. And then you want to basically just this highlight right here it's limit to db in my case i don't want it, the audio to ever go above zero decibels if it goes above zero decibels you run the risk of getting uh blown out audio and again loud jarring noises and people clicking off your video so set that to zero left click on okay it won't make many changes you won't see it but basically we set a limit to it and that's it now if we play this back let's see what happens all right, so that is all you got to do. And if you want to stop it again, professional audio, it sounds great. The last step is to go to file and then you want to go to export and you want to export this as an MP3 and then you want to save it. I'm going to save it to desktop and I'm going to call this uh, audio.mp3, whatever, it doesn't matter. Left click on save, presto. We've now got audio. And you know what, as a little bit of a bonus, because we're on a roll here, I'm going to show you something else. And this is an important part because it does trick a lot of people. All right, everybody, here's a final little piece of tip I want to show you how to sync your gameplay and your audio. So when you're speaking through your mic and your gameplay that you're playing on your computer, a lot of the times they're not exactly synced up, especially if you started recording one before the other. You're off by a few seconds, milliseconds. Let's just fix that problem right here. The way to do it, you want to go, and this is using HitFilm Express. There's other programs that are actually better at this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it the manual way using HitFilm Express. Left click on import once you've got it opened up and I'm just gonna import some footage. So I'm gonna import the AE4 video that I've got here. That's just me playing Age of Empires 4 and you'll see here that it is loading up and that's what we want. So it'll take a few seconds and then I'm gonna drag and drop that onto my timeline and I'm gonna start it exactly at the beginning it says here, do you want to change the sequence settings? Yes, I do. I want them to match my gameplay footage. And as I scrub through it, you'll see here, boom, presto. That's me playing the game. And again, that's just the beginning of the game. The next step is you want to import the audio, which is the separate file that we just created. And I showed you how to create. And that's called AE4 Audio 3. I'm going to import that as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the audio onto its own separate audio track. So let's see if I can do that. Right about, what do you think, here? There we go. So we've got the audio now. And you'll see here that they're matched and they're scrubbed together. Now there's a, oops, I didn't want to do that. What you want to do here, and this is where it gets a little tricky, but you're smart, so you can figure this out, 
is you basically want to go right to the beginning of the clip and then you want to basically match it up so I'm going to go ahead and delete part of this audio and what I'm doing is basically wherever I say wherever I want the audio to start I move it along the clip so if I start doing my talking around let's say exactly at the 30 28 second mark for example or 28 frame mark then I would move my audio to there if I wanna if I don't say okay here's where I start talking or I start shooting or whatever you do you just basically nudge this audio one frame at a time until you get them to match up there are programs like Adobe Premiere Pro where you can uh, do it automatically but HitFilm Express is still manual so just drag and move the audio until you get it exactly where you want it and then from there well hey they're both gonna match up and I'm gonna show you how to export and do all that other stuff and hit film express in the next movie thanks for watching this one guys ton more stuff coming up stay tuned be back